I get to unleash something. Gets right the Not saying I want to handicap you, but I know I'm going to handicap you. That's a big right hand by Slice. And now Tom has been completed. I haven't won all my fights, but when it comes down to my family, I'm going to win this one. To get a little rag and wipe his face up. <laughs> oh! That's not a red uh, light, uh. that was a yellow light. No! <laughs> Not red, it was yellow. You know what? Sometimes I wish you guys had dicks. <laughs> you have a family as large as mine. <laughs> what in the world? It could be mind-boggling. It could be stressed. I had to sell my camera. The one that I bought. Oh, Kevo. How much did you buy this for? Uh, it was like 30 bucks. Are you fucking kidding me? I do get annoyed by so much of everything. One here, one here, one there. When you talk about the family, there's a lot of them. <laughs> my first oldest son, Kevin Jr., then my second oldest son, Kevin II, then my oldest daughter, Kevina, then my second oldest daughter, Kiera, and then my third oldest son, Kevlar, my third youngest daughter, Cassandra, my son's baby's mom, Kiana, my little grandson, Kevin the Third, and we have a dog named Kimmy. <laughs> That's the family. <laughs> Give me some. So that works. Yes. Okay. Antoinette. That's the love of my life. My husband, he he's the man of the house. Yes, he is. He wear the pants. That's my deal. Yeah. <laughs> we almost had to go around that. We have that kind of friend love and relationship love. So that's why it's so unique. And I don't want to be tense and stiff going into the fight, so I might need to release. No. You know? No release early. And to that man and I, I mean, we fit like a glove. This right here, I know you want it, but I'm going to let you wait for your victory. You know what? I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's that texting? Keytrick. So tell me about him. All right, he's taller than you, right? He like 6'3". Oh, I like big niggas. I like to drop big niggas. No, wrong thought. No, right thought. If my kids can deal with me in my ways, and me being me, I feel like they'll be able to deal with anybody else. I'm going to be single to Okay, if it's the wrong 80. thought, why is that the first thing you said to me? Because that's oh, the first six, thing three, I noticed. Oh, he's 6'3", 6'4". Good. How much you weigh, 280? No. Even better. What? Like a body slam is big no. ass. Nobody's good enough for me in his eyes, which is understandable in a way, you know, because I'm his first daughter, but I'm 18, you know? Don't give me that look. <laughs> that he was. That's a smirk. See, that's yeah. that sinister smirk. I love you so much that look at you just makes me smile. Come bring it in. Oh, you had to jump, huh? <laughs> yeah. Ice. What's going on? Something that we got to go over is that whole thing in New Zealand with the eight-man tournament. Ah. It's half a million for the winner of the whole tournament. It's like 200 for runner-up. Mike and I play a very important role to each other. I trust Mike with situations regarding the business point of my life. So two months before this fight, when I find out the exact date, you go to train, so you're out of the house. Kimbo would walk around the world and back for his children. And I think that plays a part in being focused for the fight. Financially, it'll be worth it. And, you know, career-wise, it'll probably be worth it. it it'll be kind of hard, you know? I mean, I really would rather stay so home. So what about maybe train at home stay for a home. month or two and then leave for the last month? I, I got you, man. I'm just, my family mean a lot to me. I would do whatever it takes for them. And I mean that with my heart. You know, I get it. I know there's all the kids there, and I know the grandbabies there, too. Yeah. Right? So what do you think of that? Let me think about it. 
I look at my life in a sense kind of like a fight. You never know what the outcome is going to be. You never know what you're going to be faced with. Mark, what do you think about that, Ma? <laughs> that I'm a granddaddy. So that puts you at what, great grand? Yeah. Let me cover his ears. Knowing that I'm a grandfather fucks with me. <laughs> Kimbo is a good father. And he, he will do anything, you know? He will do anything for them. Okay, 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 see? I love how this man is about his family. And I love him to death. <laughs> We argue now, and I pull you to the side one-on-one, -on -one, and we patch that up, and we become back family. We a unit. It's a big unit, but we a unit. How's everything? The fact that he loves his kids, no matter what, I took this man through hell and back, I promise you. Life can be like a fight, and that's what I try to teach my family. Don't ever give up. Don't ever tap out. My family mean a lot to me. You know, I'll go to war for anyone in mind.